last video that I put out, quite a few people have asked me to make another. So today, we're going to be flying on this plane, uh, in the wind, and I'm going to be using a GPS that's going to be telling me road directions as we're going, so we're going to watch the GPS freak out. enthusiast, first time flyer, or just generally like to see the thing in more detail, click here to see more. And we're off. As expected, the sat may have got confused and generally pointed all over the place for the first few minutes, but what I didn't expect is that within five minutes the thing had completely locked up and was unusable. I gave it about half an hour to see if it would recover, but it didn't. So, that leaves us to enjoy the flight just for what it is. And what it is is bumpy. Now, a lot of planning went into this trip uh, specifically because of this. Uh, if you'd like to know more about that, just go and have a look at the other video which I mentioned earlier, which is right there. Now to give you an idea of uh, just how bumpy that is, and it's not just me uh, shaking the camera, because I'm actually pretty steady with the camera as you'll have seen in some of my other videos. Um, this here is some footage of uh, when we were at a clear patch, and you see how beautifully smooth everything is. But uh, probably the most exciting thing of uh, this video is the landing, because uh, it was done very, very well, and it wasn't an easy landing to do. Um, what happens is that uh, this particular airfield has a petrol station right beside it, so you're not actually allowed to fly directly into the runway. You have to come in at an angle, then turn at the last moment, and then land. And so when we're getting a gusty headwind, so one moment uh, you could have, the next minute you might not have it, um, that is quite an interesting challenge to take on. And like I say, the pilot did it beautifully here. Um, and yeah, we got down safely and it was a fun ride. Um, we also got to see some really interesting landings of some other planes, and sadly I don't have those on video. Uh, I really wish I did, but uh, it was really quite impressive. Alright, so I'm going to leave this video like this. There's a whole heap more. We had a lot of fun this day. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing more, go and have a look at the other video, which has uh, more detail, which is more focused around the actual flying and landing and all that type of stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.